if you do, even when you go down the culture pathway, uh, we were talking before about how, okay, in Niger culture will be doctors, accountants, and in your culture will be engineers, bankers, and doctors. If we were to say, hey, give everyone equal opportunity, just because of what is valued in everyone's culture, people are gonna naturally assimilate and create different quotas. It's never going yeah. to be equal anyway. So for example, uh, gypsies, um, tradi traditional Irish or Romani gypsies, a lot of them, and this isn't blanket, I'm saying a lot of them, they don't value the education system. A lot of them are fighters. From, yeah. And that's why so many of them go into boxing. You mean to tell me in the notion of equality, suddenly these people who don't go to school and value fighting and value more yeah. practical um, vocational courses, suddenly you're going to get an equal amount of people who are now suddenly doctors. That is, it's absurd to think that people naturally assimilate. So that's why when we often see a disparity, we often assume that it's inequality, but a disparity doesn't mean inequality because if, if you're talking about inequality, are we saying that white sprinters are told not to sprint because the 100 metres and all the men making uh, breaking crazy times are, are black? So I think that's why when we can get lost in this whole inequality thing and fulfilling quotas when I'm not convinced wholly that being discouraged is the biggest impediment to why people go into certain... Because a lot of it is just a misrepresentation of information as well. Mm 